Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies out there currently. And see temperatures warm today in the mid-upper 50s with a southerly breeze across the area. So really nice day shaping up and we'll continue to see that nice weather through at least Friday of this week. Looking at our current sounding from this morning, we have a freezing level 8,200 feet. Winds generally out of the northwest westerly component throughout the column and Increasing with height fairly uniformly this morning, seeing a peak wind at 80 knots at 25,000 feet out of the west. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, high pressure off the coast. It's allowed us to see colder temperatures last night. It was overhead. It continue to slide off the coast today in advance of this cold front approaching from the Ohio Valley. It's going to be providing us with a bit more southerly breezes today with the pressure gradient tightening across the region and a Increase the cloud cover overnight, but no chance of precipitation with this front. It would be a dry frontal passage. So taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, just some upper-level cirrus cloudiness across the region. You can see that just streaming in from the west, and that will be out of the area once we get to about noon to 1 o'clock this afternoon. And we should see most of the clear skies for a good part of the afternoon. You can nicely see the uh, snow coverage across the mid-Atlantic region in the northeast states this morning. You can see that uh, snow cover really starting right around uh, northern Maryland and increasing up into Pennsylvania. Taking a look at the European model for the next few days. Here's today, high pressure moving off the coast, cold front approach tonight, as I mentioned. And then tomorrow, we'll have a weak area high pressure built in from the west, a bit chillier compared to today, a few degrees cooler. And then for Friday, looking like we'll have a system approaching from the southwest that'll increase our cloud cover for Friday and give us some uh, cooler temperatures as high pressure will be overhead. And Saturday, that area low pressure will move over the Wallops region and giving us a good chance of some rainfall, especially in the morning hours. Uh, Saturday afternoon still looks like a chance, but uh, best chance here on Saturday morning. And Sunday looks like another area low pressure moves through the area region. That'll give us a uh, good chance of rainfall once again. And then for Monday, it looks like a additional area low pressure moves through for a Monday morning, giving us some rainfall chances. Once we move into Tuesday, models really differ on whether another area of low pressure develops and moves up into the region for our Wednesday right now. Uh, looking like chances will be uh, lower as model address agreement is uh, still in there for our Wednesday. We'll continue to monitor the uh, pattern for middle of next week. So taking a look at a risk chart for day, a high of 56 at Wallops. Inland locations will see near 60 today and then seeing a low of 41 tonight as that cold front passes. We'll see a southerly wind today, 10 to 15 knots, gust to 22, picking up out of the southwest this evening. 10 to 15 knots, gusts to 24. And then overnight, we'll see those winds turn out of the northwest, 9 to 14 knots, gusting to possibly 22 knots. We'll see those VFR conditions extending through the next 24 hours. Just going to see a pickup in our cloud cover overnight with some uh, clouds moving in around six to 10,000 feet and seeing some ceilings possibly at those levels. Overall today, we'll see clear skies after 1,400 local. We'll see Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies tomorrow morning with the predominant cloud cover being around 12,000 to 8,000 feet. Our tides are currently normal and looking at Wednesday through, excuse me, Thursday through Friday, we'll see dry conditions, fairly nice weather overall, mostly sunny to partly cloudy and seasonable, slightly breezy during the morning, a high of 52 on Thursday. Seeing those winds possibly gust up near 23, 24 knots during the morning on, on Thursday, so can't rule out a 25 knot gust Thursday night. Partly cloudy and seasonable, a low of 31. And for Friday, partly to mostly cloudy with onshore flow, cooler temperatures with a high of 46 degrees. So next seven days, we'll see uh, those partly cloudy conditions for today and tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy for Friday. And then we'll see that rain come in just for the weekend. We'll see temperatures, though, mild in the 50s, so 57 on Saturday, 52 on Sunday. Looks like the rain chances are best Saturday morning and Sunday afternoon. Uh, could get a break Saturday night into Sunday, uh, but overall kind of a dreary wet weekend. Looking at Monday, it looks like rain during the morning, and then we'll have a stronger cold front move through for the afternoon hours, and that'll allow for us to see some windy conditions, most likely Monday afternoon, Monday evening. And then we'll see some cooler temperatures, slightly below normal for Tuesday of next week with partly cloudy skies. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and 10 a.m.